Hello and welcome or welcome back to my Dandelion Diaries. I wanted to make a quick video of this pen that was kindly gifted to me by Allison. So thank you, Allison. I don't see a whole lot about this pen when I go to look for it. So this is the Scrix 419 fountain pen. And I believe she got this from Galen Leather just because this looks like the Galen Leather packaging and it has their name on it. And this is what the little box looks like. I love Galen Leather packaging. It is always sturdy and I reuse a lot of it, honestly, for storing things because the boxes are so well made. But I like that it's like a little present box almost. The pen sits in this kind of velvety, foamy kind of stuff. Um, and there's another bed underneath. And then here is what the pen looks like. So from the information I found on the Galen Leather website, this is a brand of pens that is based in Turkey. And the company was established in 1964, Istanbul. It has been around for, I guess, over 50 years. And the word Skrix, or the brand name, is based off of the word Esquire or Esquire. And it means writing, apparently, in their language, the Catalan language. This pen itself is a piston fill. So you have a little knob back here that you will turn. And you can see the plunger right there. The material of this is definitely like a very hard plastic or a hard acrylic. Um, I, I kind of compare it, I guess, to like a Pilot Pereira is the feeling I'm getting from this. It's not as heavy as the Pilot Pereira though. It does have a nice clip. I wouldn't say it's super springy, but it will definitely clip on to probably whatever you want. Uh, maybe a little tough with a little lip there to get off of like a t-shirt or something if you're clipping it to your shirt. It does screw one, well, okay, like one time. <laughs> and then to disassemble, dismember the top part, you would just unscrew this nib like you do with most piston fill pens to clean it. From what it looks like, the nib she gifted me is a medium nib. And you might be able to see that on the side of the nib there. There is a very small M. The nib itself does have Scrix written on it, and it's a pretty standard small nib. I don't know what nib size this would be. Um, I will compare it to a couple of my other pens, though. In terms of pen size comparison, here is it next to a Caveco Sport. a Jin Hao 82, which is also about the same size as a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, but I do not have one of those. A Platinum Preppy. And then here's a Twisby Eco. Uncapped, I'd probably say it's closest in size to the Platinum Preppy um, or the Jin Hao 82, but it's kind of like in between both of those. This pen does post pretty firmly. I would say there's no wiggle room. It's pretty on there. And then in the hand, I would say it's pretty comfortable for me. I do have, I guess, average hands for women, I feel like, just because I don't think they're super large or super small. <laughs> but unposted, I would say this pen is probably a little too short for my hands. I will be inking this pen up today with a sample of Dominant Industries Tuna and Olives, also courtesy of Allison. So I hope there's enough in here because I've already done a little bit of playing with this ink. If not, I will see what I can do about filling up this pen. As with most piston fillers, you will extend the piston all the way to where it is at the top. And then to fill, you will dip the nib completely in the ink, submerge it, feed and all, and then screw it back down and it will fill in a kind of vacuum kind of way, but not like a plunging vacuum. So this is the Scrix. Four one nine fountain pen in Podora or Podra with a medium nib. I would definitely say the medium nib on this is much 
broader or juicier and it could be the ink that's giving that impression as well but this definitely writes very wet to me compared to some of the other pens that I have I really honestly love it I would say the medium though is probably a bit more towards the broad side so if you're not a fan of a broader nibbed pen probably go more towards the fine is my guess in terms of the writing experience it does have a very minor amount of feedback it's not super strong I would say it's pretty standard. It's not super buttery like a pilot nib, but it's not super feedbacky like a sailor nib. I think it's just kind of in the middle. It is definitely a very juicy wet writer though. In review, first off, I want to say thank you to Allison for sending me this. This is such a cute little pen and I am so excited to get to use it for the whole month of February. Um, it's going to be a really fun time, I can already tell. And I must say this ink is right up my alley as well, so thank you for that too. If you have any questions about this pen, please let me know in the comments. I will do my best to answer what I can or direct you to where I can get answers for you. But overall, I'm really happy with this. I think it's a great little pen. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching, for joining me here today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.